All right, so first up, go ahead and click on the link in the description. It'll open up this Google Drive file right here, which is a PDF, which contains all the links we'll be needing during today's transformation. So first up, we're going to be changing the wallpaper from this boring Windows 11 default wallpaper to a cool looking forest styled wallpaper. So go ahead and click on the first link in the PDF that says wallpaper. That'll open up this website right here that is wallpaperflare.com. You can choose any kind of forest wallpaper from here or you can just search for any other wallpaper you like like the beach, seaside, nature or some other topics which you prefer. I'm gonna go for this wallpaper right here which I think looks really cool and has that chill vibe to it. So once you're here just go ahead and click on download for your screen and right after that just click on download wallpaper. Now start downloading onto your computer. Now open up file explorer. And then open up the downloads folder. Now here as you can see we have our wallpaper right here. Just right click on it. And then just click on set as desktop background. And now here as you can see our desktop looks really cool with this cool chill forest wallpaper. Now here as you can see I got three icons right here which is making my desktop look cluttered up. You may be having more icons. I'm having just three because I just created a new user for today's video. So to hide these icons just right click on your desktop hover over view and just uncheck the box that says show desktop icons to hide your desktop icons. Now as you can see my desktop looks really clean. Again go back to the PDF and just go ahead and click on this link that says rain meter. Now here just click on download and then once it's done downloading just double click on it and over here just uncheck this box and then just click on run. Over here select the language and click on ok and then select standard installation and click on next and then just click on install. And then the user account control one, just click on yes. And then once it's done installing, just click on finish. Now here as you can see the rain meter has loaded up these icons, these skins right here onto my desktop. Which is rain meter's default built in skins. You can just right click on it and just click on unload skin. Over here we got these three skins right here. You can keep it if you like because it shows the CPU, RAM and swap usage. If you like you can keep it but I don't like it. So I'm just going to right click on it and click on unload skin. Now once you're done with that go back to the PDF. And just click on this link that says visualizer. And then in Marco Pixels GitHub page just scroll down. And just click on lano.visualizer. And just click on the downloaded skin. And then just click on install. While it's installing go back to the PDF. And just click on mod widget and as you can see lano visualizer ins has installed just click on setup and here as you can see the settings window for the lano visualizer is opened up right here i'm going to keep that for now i'm going to close it for now and just go back to mod rain meter skin and just scroll down and just click on the download button and just go ahead and click on the downloaded skin and then just click on install and here as you can see this window that says settings has opened up Let's go ahead and close it and here as you can see we have the date over here the date time and the day we got this cool looking media player over here we got the recycle bin option right here to open up the recycle bin if you click on it as you can see recycle bin has opened up let me just keep it in the top right corner and then for the day you can just adjust it just by just dragging it and just keep it anywhere you like i'm gonna keep it in the perfect center I recommend you start from the bottom because the taskbar icons will be centered. So just go from the bottom and just slowly drag it to the top so that you perfectly center it. And then once you've placed it in the rough center, just drag the media player over here. And then once you've adjusted both of them, just right click on it and just click on settings. And then just check the box that says click through. As you can see, we cannot drag the widget anymore because it's locked. Same thing with this widget right here, just right click on it, hover over settings and just click on click through. Same thing here, we cannot drag it anymore. And just click on the arrow icon over here and then just click on the right meter icon. Here as you can see the right meter is opened up, just place it in the right side. And then expand the folder that says Lano Visualizer. And then just click on visualizer.ini and then just click on load. Here as you can see we got our visualizer loaded up. It looks pretty long and it looks really big. To decrease the size just close down rate meter. Right click on the visualizer and then just click on open settings. Here as you can see settings has opened up where we can just adjust the visualizer scale. Let me just shrink it. I think that looks fine. And then just go to visualization. And over here you can adjust the number of bar count on the visualizer. I'm going to set it to 36. And I think 38 looks pretty good. You could even select the bar gap. I'm going to set it to default because I think it looks fine. You can set the bar width as well, the sensitivity and the smoothing level. If you go to style, you can just change the color as well to whatever color you want. 
and once set it to white because I think it matches the whole theme. And once you're done adjusting everything, you could even choose the media player from which you want it to show the song information. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on close. Now you can just adjust it by just dragging the visualizer and placing it anywhere you want. Let me just right click on it and hover over settings and just check the box that says click through. If you think that these two widgets are not perfectly centered, just in case you kind of realize that it's not in the perfect center, you want to remove it back, remove it back. back again. But you cannot right now because you had checked the box that says click through earlier. You can, however, uncheck the box again by going back to the system tray icon, open up rain meter, expand the folder that says mond, expand the folder that says clock, select the clock.ini file, and uncheck the box that says click through. Now as you can see we can again start dragging this date. And let me just check the box once again so that I don't drag it by mistake. Now if you want to change the color of this widget you can just go back to rain meter. Go back expand the folder that says mond and expand the folder that says settings. Select settings.ini and just click on load. Here as you can see we can change the language. The translate instruction to translate you can just translate the language. And you can even change the weather code over here. Just in case if the weather that is showing right here is incorrect. You can just click on this home icon over here. Which will open up weather.codes. And over here all you gotta do is just enter your location. Here as you can see we have a record like here, just select it, right click and just click on copy. And then over here where it says enter weather code here, just, select, just double click on it and then hit control V and then hit enter. And now you have successfully changed your location and now your weather code will be updated accordingly. You can even change the text color to any color you want. By just clicking on it you can just change it over here and click on OK. Here as you can see the color has changed. But I think that white looks pretty good for the theme, so I'm gonna set it to white. You can even change the player button color as well, that is this player button color. I'm gonna set it to green. Let me just click on close settings. Now as you can see, we are almost done with today's transformation, but one thing that's left is to change the taskbar. So go back to the PDF once again, and just click on rounded TB, this link right here. Now here, just scroll down. Until you find this link right here that says roundedtb.zip, just click on the link. Now open up File Explorer, and then open up the Downloads folder and just right click on the roundedtb zip file and then hover over WinRAR and choose Extract 2. Once it's done extracting, just open up the folder and scroll all the way to the bottom until you find roundedtb application. Here as you can see mine is right here, just double click on it. And now here as you can see rounded TB has automatically applied its personalization settings onto my taskbar. For you it might not be the case because you haven't installed it previously. But for me I had installed it previously so that's why it's already made it into a dock. For you it might not be a dock so just go back and click on the system tree icon. And then just right click on this rounded TB icon and just click on show RDB. And this window right here, just click on advanced. Then make sure you have dynamic mode checked. And make sure you have checked this one as well. Which means that whenever you hover your cursor over the system tray icon. Here as you can see, it's the system tray icon is appearing over here. And then when I move my cursor away, here as you can see, it's disappearing. Which makes it look really good. You can adjust the corner radius to whatever, however corner you want it to be. Here as you can see, it's applying the changes in real time. I'm just going to set it to 15. And I think that looks good. You can even adjust the margin so that there is a gap between the taskbar and the display end. You can even check this box that says translucent TB compatibility, which is the utility that can make your taskbar blur or change the opacity of your taskbar. Now, one optional thing which you can do is that you can install translucent TB, which will make your taskbar transparent or make it blur. If you don't like translucent TB, you can use another software called Taskbar X, which works completely like translucent TB, but it has a few additional features and is completely free and open source. Now, if you want to make changes to the widget, like if you want to send Enter this visualizer, you can always go back to Rain Meter and just go ahead and expand the folder and just click on the INI file and just uncheck the box that says click through. You can just adjust it once again to make sure it's in the perfect center and adjust it to your needs. Now one more thing which I forgot to mention is that this visualizer will work with any music you play on your computer or any other sound that plays on your computer. If I go back to sound clone, let me just play this music. That is my default intro music that is Jericho and Vlad Dushchenko, Weekend, that's the name of the music. Let me just go ahead and play it. And now 
over here as you can see the visualizer has this bar that is really long if you want to adjust the height of the visualizer you just go back to rain meter by just going to the system tray and opening it up and open up the lano visualizer folder and just select the visualizer.ini file and then uncheck the box that says click through just minimize the window just right click on the visualizer and then click on open settings and in the settings window right here you can just adjust the visualizer height over here as you can see I'm going to decrease it because it looks really long and it doesn't look really good. And I think that looks fantastic. Let me just close the settings window and let me just drag it and let me adjust it back down right here. And now as you can see that looks much better. And yeah guys that's it on this video. If you found this video helpful make sure to give this video a like and share with a friend. And if you have any queries you can put them down in the comment section below. And please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you. In the next one, peace.